And now we are in the modeling phase of uh, this tutorial. Uh, now that we have a base mesh of skeleton, or skeleton rather, for our model, it's time to start building mesh library. I will start with my uh, reference image library, just ones that I pre-selected for, uh, particularly for this project. I'm searching for interesting shapes for any parts of the ships that I could uh, use. I can see that it could use some improvements or additional details. Uh, some interesting shapes that I can find. It's uh, this this image of uh, actually I don't know what this is, but I know that I could use that. So um, the, this is the part of creating modeling as well. Uh, this is not the new model or technique of modeling by any means. It's just uh, that it can be done, you know, through the different variations and ways. I have used this model for a while now, and. Uh, not just for this particular project only, but also to be able to use the same uh, uh, models later on in some the uh, inside the uh, inside the other projects too. This way, you can uh, save a ton of time and effort and preserve, you know, like really preserving some quality uh, of the models to the different projects. Again, this uh, technique doesn't really follow any strict rules, and it's more about the uh, it's more about their creativity and the person's visual strength. This again is uh, connected to the difficulties of starting new shapes of the model when you were just staring at the blank canvas and uh, this kind of helps you out uh, at the very beginning. And this is particular, you know, usual in the cases where there's uh, not enough reference material, detailed concept art to support certain model or shapes or parts of the model. In this type type of cases, I like to you know do go again and uh, do some uh, uh, research in advance and try to collect as much as images to get some ideas and just shapes that are interesting and I have feeling that I could use them for something, whatever that might be. Uh, really, at this point or even earlier on, you can start start thinking about different parts of the model. Like in this case, for example, there are rotors, there are intakes, there are engines, ventilation holes, and what have you. Uh, then look at the ref images that you collected, and uh, uh, it, it, well, really, you go back and forth between. Um, uh, it can be uh, it can be done basically if you're just staring at different images, and and you know there is a there is an engine, and you can find something that is interesting, interesting looking shape that kind of reminds you resembles the engine port and just pick that and uh, go from there um, so uh, like I said this is a really creative process and uh, there's no any there's no rules really being followed so I would just suggest to get yourself a you know cup of coffee or whatever your favorite beverage is um, and relax and enjoy the process itself Sometimes you will get stuck eventually. That's uh, just a, no matter what, you know, it's just a question of time. Um, so just drop that, you know, drop that part that you're working on and move to something else, different part, different shape. Keep them going. Maybe in the middle of making one shape, you can think of the uh, another version of the same, same one. And uh, so just duplicate that shape and. Um, reshape it again, you know, stretch, pull, do whatever you need to do. So maybe it looks better, maybe not, you know, you, you're not sure really at this point how is this going to turn out. So, um, yeah, here I'm, um, like I said, I picked up one shape that you already see, saw in the, in the image. So um, I like the way that it's, um, it's simple. Yet, kind of uh, gives you an op, you know, really a possibility to build on on part of that and uh, add as much as details as you can because it's a really uh, straightforward shape. Uh, a lot of um, free or well, race, well, kind of free space or rather, rather, um, what is that? The um, flat surface. So uh, you can add other bolts. Bolts are pretty cool hinges, what have you. Uh, here, like I said, this could be done, you know, this particular case, when you see it at the end, it's pretty simple. 
um, and if you really know what you're going for, you know it's um, it's a very straightforward and fast process. But if you're not sure what what kind of particular shape you really want to see in the end, then like this this part here, you know, uh, I know it, I need it to be curved, but I'm not sure like if it's really this round, like a half circle, or maybe it's gonna have some uh, well more or less sharp sharp corners. So if I, you know, I try it, I see it doesn't really fit what I see, and a uh, couple control Z's and, you know, you're back again on a track and try something else. Uh, okay, well, th th this is my issue always, I'm st uh, stuck with it, maybe unnecessary details. I should probably do a lot of chamfering here and stretching, maybe I just, uh, I should uh, probably just uh, move a little bit faster but then again this is not really just concepting this is um, more or less uh, ready models or shapes that I'm uh, creating right now so uh, maybe I'm gonna revisit them later on and uh, maybe change them a bit but um, like 99% this should be done already because we're rebuilding the library at this point All the things that we're just gonna use and reuse and uh, maybe just uh, reshape a little bit if we if we see the need for that. So, um, also, uh, I'm trying to avoid, I mean, when you think about this kind of shape, this could be really easily be done with uh, just uh, what a box and uh, basically, um, uh, what is that? No, it's not extrude, but it's rather a Boolean technique and extruding, <coughs> extruding the shape from it. But then again, with the with the boolean uh, modifier, uh, there's uh, certain well issues always that you run into, um, and I don't like those uh, kind of chopped off uh, chopped off cor corners that uh, boolean does, and then you have to go back and really just uh, reconnect all the um, kind of spaced out vertices around and whatnot. It's very funny when you're looking at what you're doing right now, and then you and you know what for what kind of uh, end result is gonna be. But really, at this point, of course, it's easy to say that, ah, oh, man, what you're doing, you're not supposed to do that. You can go much faster, and <laughs> you know, do this and that, and uh, and be done in just uh, well seconds or minutes. So I'm here already, almost uh, seven minutes. I'm still struggling with this shape, but uh, but that's what it is. You know, sometimes it takes time. And that is fine, you know, uh, you cannot really predict all the uh, kind of upcoming issues and uh, situations you can get in, especially like in, 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 in cases like this when you, I at least at this point, I don't have clear vision of how this shape should look like, so I'm kind of free, freestyling on the fly, um, which is tedious sometimes, but I, I do enjoy it quite a bit, and I think many people do, because you have this kind of artistic, artistic freedom. Um, that you know takes you places, so uh, just don't get too stressed and continue working on it as you know as long as you find something that you like. And next time it's probably gonna be faster, so don't worry about that. Sometimes when working in production with a bunch of people in the teams, you're restricted with time. You have to be able to hit the deadlines that takes you into the situation when uh, when you have to make a decision and compromises. It's hard, you know, and especially when the quality of work, in, in a sense, has to suffer for the sake of uh, your time and overall production time. Like in this example, you know, like during this tutorial, I'm not necessarily restricted to any of the of the time, in a sense, but only ideas and possibilities. Well, I mean, of course, there's a there is a factor of time. It's always a factor of time. But since I don't want to spread this uh, tutorial over days, months, so I have to speed speed some some parts too. But the uh, overall idea is to cover certain certain aspects of the production and come up with uh, new ideas and solutions. You know, some, that's why some parts are taking some more time than the other, like in this modeling section especially. Uh, but that's fine. You know, take it from me and, um, and use it for your own project in a way you want to wanna do it and just make it work for you, make it better. You know, use it, use it to get faster and, and better at what you do.